Hello friends and welcome back to Adopted Genealogy. I'm Julie and I have adopted my adoptive family's genealogy. I'm the youngest of five and um, my story is, um, I'll link my story for you if you want to hear the intro if you miss that. And I want to talk to you today about how I am now documenting my journey in the family tree. Now over the years I have been off and on with Ancestry and some other sites. It's mainly been Ancestry Family Tree Maker, and I had a really good, robust um, lot family genealogy on Family Tree Maker, and then my computer died, and I, we haven't recovered the files yet. That was a few years ago. It's really hard to recover them, and of course, it didn't make a backup. So now that was sunk. So, but luckily, it was backed up to Ancestry. Ancestry is kind of expensive, and so I only join it for a while when it's half price, when they do those specials, and then I do a bunch of research because I'm not constantly doing research. It was kind of hard because I, in order to find the records, I would need to go online. And I am a very tactile person. I actually do, have done quite a few videos on paper planning because I enjoy the tactileness and the writing and the solid, solid it feels like a solid thing when I'm writing something down. So then I came across this me this method or this way of doing things called um, family tree notebooks. And uh, this lady who, she's not a genealogist either, but she has created this system where it's all basically, it's family tree, it's sheets. And she prints them out. She also m makes them, uh, adjusts them online, and then prints them out. So then she has copies online and then prints them. I decided that I would get the um, family tree notebook information, um, the sheets, and then I would write on them by hand, um, and then print out documents and put on there also. So then I did a bunch of research on how to set up a notebook, and this is what I have now. So. Like I mentioned, I like uh, planners, and this is actually a Happy Planner disc bound in the large size. So, whoops, I got it upside down, but you can't really tell. And this is what it looks like. So I did put the whole cover in here. These are the very extra large discs, I believe. And let's see here. I know it's awkward, but then I have my ancestors or my adoptive family's ancestors, but I, the first page, this is heavy, so sorry, I have this. So my first pa page is kind of the outline, the fan genealogy, and it shows you know, basically who's in there, and it really helped me to plan out these notebooks, because if there was a spot where they, um, I didn't have the next generations of, or the next uh, grandparents, great-great-great-grandparents, -grand back then I would here, I'll show you see there is a distinct here stopping point of who I know so I would make you know this notebook is basically going to I think this level and then after that they can branch out and make a new notebook with the other lines so that is this has been helpful for me okay so disbound notebooks if you don't know you have these uh, perforations on here and it can snap back you can easily take them out of the books and put them back in and I think that's I like that better than a ring binder and because it can lay flatter and all that stuff and then I have my index pages and I'll show you the first page everybody on here has passed so don't worry about that and I like how she has this set up where it's all numbered and then you have the list and going out to, um, and you can get these in different colors too. I chose green for my dad's side, the the Rundell side, because his he had a Model A that was green, and so I always think about that Model A in conjunction with him. But you can choose. There are actually people who um, suggest different colors for different generations. But I'm not a genealogist. I'm just doing this because uh, that color connects with my dad. I start with the profile page and then I add a record sheet checklist which the checklist of things that I want to add because I can come back later and add those in um, the so then behind that I put all the documents in um, on chronological order so um, hopefully it starts with a birth record and then we have probably have some census then a marriage record 
um, more census, maybe there is a war record or property deed or whatever happened in their life that we can document um, on paper or uh, we can find those documents. And then at the end you have like a death record and a um, find a grave information. So that is the journey that I take with them. I was just going through and taking what I had known on Ancestry and printing them all out so I have them with me. I'm not doing a lot of research now, um, just a little bit. If I find a hint as I'm going through the re that person's records, then I will add that to the list. But right now I'm in the process of just printing it all out while I have my Ancestry membership because, like I said, I only have it for a few months while it's cheap. <laughs> And uh, then I won't have it again for a while until I can find a deal. That's just, you know, because I'm not doing genealogy all the time. But I might be for a while here. But I really like having this notebook and having it all tactile. Because all I have to do to find somebody, um, and I will fill out these tabs later, is just to flip to them. I, I can easily look at my list in the front to say, okay, I need to, okay, this is where I'm at. The next person I have to print out is this one. And I can also make notes of what I need to do next. And I've done a few of those, like a post-it notes in some of the records. But I can, I can even put some sheets in here, temporary sheets, of what I need to do, where do I need to go. I was thinking about making a list of locations to go to because some of these people overlap. There's even some relatives that lived really near where I'm living right now, which is interesting because I'm the only one of the family who moved away from Minnesota in this generation, but there was somebody else in another generation. So that is my, the state of my record keeping, and this is only how many generations? This, is, this will be about six generations, I think. Five or six, if I remember right. And, uh, if it gets too big, then I'm going to split it up in, into smaller books, which is fine. But I really like this because if when I die, when I pass on, then somebody actually has an actual book. They don't have to go and look it up online, find my tree on Ancestry or Family Search or whatever. And they can just pick this up and, and have it. And all that research is here. Now, the downside of having just the paper one is that... If this is basically the only copy of this. Now I can make other copies when the time comes, um, to when I'm pretty much uh, got this handled. Of course, you're really never done, are you? There's always something else to find. But I can make copies of this for people if they'd like. I would rather have something I can touch and feel than um, and have that down, all that information down and use the information online that I can to fill this so that gets funneled into here. I would rather have that than have us nebulous, oh, it's somewhere out there. So I like that um, it's solid and, um, and you can add, I'm gonna add some memorabilia to this too. With that wallet of my dad's, I'm going to take those few things that I had kept from there and I'm going to add a page of this is the final things in my dad's wallet. If you're interested in, I mean, I'm not, this is not at all sponsored, but I will put a link for Carly's Family Tree Notebooks. Um, I have taken a course with her, and it was very good to get me started on this. Um, good and inspiring, although we all work on the same pace. At the time I took the course, um, it was just information gathering, and then all of a sudden it just took off for me. Now, I would like to know how you are doing your record keeping, how you keep track of all your stuff. And do you do it online? Do you do it on paper? Do you do both? Um, how do you do it? And what sources do you use? So there you go. That is how I am record keeping for, for my family, my adopted family, but I just call it my family. So I hope you enjoyed that and let me know what you think. And I hope you have a joyful day. Goodbye.